Sometimes Yuna would just stare off into the distance. I finally understood why.
ladies and gentlemen it is that time again we are coming at you live now with the stream how's everybody doing this lovely evening right, is the game gonna show up or not oh there we go hey 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 oh oh it's been it's been a long weekend had to pack had to move my arms are tired oh my god and yesterday was father's day i just took it as a day off i just took it as a day off that's it that there's nothing else all right if y'all here to watch the stream we're going to resume get this show on the road well, i'm trying to remember where i was at it's been so long where am i oh yeah i was uh we're taking care of the the werewolves wait am i why does this look like it's further back than what it was? Hold on. I gotta go back. I have no recollection of this place. Uh. Hold on. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where we came in at. Okay. Okay. Cool. The hell. Shall be done. We didn't loot a corpse. Yeah. Oh, that's because my inventory is full. Right, 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 oh, right. Wait, how are you the only one that gets trapped in a trap that everybody else walked past? Are you kidding me? And that place was dead end. That place dead end. Okay, cool. Here we go. Going on down. Going on down. Oh, and it saves the game for me. Nice. Okay, boom. They're not attacking. Brothers and sisters. Be at ease. We do not wish any more of our people hurt. I ask you this now, outsider. Are you willing to parlay? Uh parlay as in I get to talk. Uh we are talking right now, aren't we? So talk. Uh, who are you? Parlay. Talking will accomplish nothing. Uh, like you parlay with the Dalish. I've come for Winterfang's heart, nothing less. Uh, we are talking right now, aren't we? So talk. Not with me. I have been sent to you on behalf of the lady. She believes you may not be aware of everything you should be. She means you no harm. Provided your willingness to parlay in peace is an honest one. Uh, let's see. Then take me to this lady. And how do I know I won't be walking to another ambush? So why doesn't this lady come and speak to me herself? If you were willing to talk, why didn't you earlier? Is, th is your lady a winter thing? Forget it. I'm not about to trust any of you. If you are willing to talk, why didn't you earlier? Swift Runner did not think it would matter. The lady disagrees. And since you have forced your way this far, we must acquiesce to her wishes. Okay, well. And how do I know I won't be walking into another ambush? What would be the point? You have already proven your strength. We have no wish to anger you further. Then take me to this lady. Follow me. But I warn you, if you break your promise and harm her, I will come back from the fade itself to see you pay. Oof. Okay. Oh, Sunday was Father's Day. Oh, okay. I just know everybody was off yesterday for the most part. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I could take them. Hard enough roaring. Fuck, talk, shit.
the hell is she? I bid you welcome, mortal. I am the lady of the forest. Hmm. What did you want to talk about? Really, you seem more like the Lady of the Ruin to me. Thank you, I'm glad you ha we have this chance to talk. I must admit, I was expecting another werewolf. Honestly, was. No, that I am not. If I could have revealed myself sooner, I would have. Do not listen to him, lady. He will betray you. We must attack him now. Hush, Swift Runner. Your urge for battle has only seen the death of the very ones you've been trying to save. Is that what you want? No, my lady. Anything but that. And the time has come to speak with this outsider. To set our rage aside. I apologize on Swift Runner's behalf. He struggles with his nature. Then he should he should fucking apologize. I don't apologize on behalf of him. The fuck? You lead the werewolves, do you? Those whom I have helped are very grateful for what I have done for them. I offer them guidance, but I do not command them. No doubt you have questions, mortal. There are things that Zathrian has not told you. How do you know what he has and has not told me? Because there are things that he would not tell. Things that you should decide for yourself, whether you need to know. It was Zathrian who created the curse that these creatures suffer. The same curse that Zathrian's own people now suffer. Centuries ago, when the Dalish first came to this land, a tribe of humans lived close to this forest. <laughs> they sought to drive the Dalish away. Zathrian was a young man then. He had a son and daughter he loved greatly. And while out hunting, the human tribe captured them both. <sighs> the humans tortured the boy, killed him. The girl they raped and left for dead. The Dalish found her, but she learned later she was with child. She killed herself. It's horrible. They deserve whatever they got. Indeed they did. Zathrian came to this ruin and summoned a terrible spirit, binding it to the body of a great wolf. So Witherfang came to me. Witherfang hunted the humans of the tribe. Many were killed, but others <coughs> were cursed by his blood, becoming twisted and savage creatures. Twisted and savage, just as Witherfang himself is. They were driven into the forest. When the human tribe finally left for good, their cursed brethren remained. Pitiful and mindless animals. Until I found you, my lady. You gave me peace. I showed Swiftrunner that there was another side to his bestial nature. I soothed his rage and his humanity emerged. And he brought others to me. So why did you ambush the Dalish then? For revenge? In part. We seek to end the curse. The crimes committed against Zathrian's children were grave, but they were committed centuries ago by those who were long dead. Word was sent to Zathrian every time the land ships passed this way, asking him to come, but he has always ignored us. We will no longer be denied. <sighs> we spread the curse to his people, so he must end the curse to save them. Please, mortal. You must go to him. Bring him here. If he sees these creatures, hears their plight, surely he will agree to end the curse. Uh, that's what he wanted the part for. Okay. I think he just wishes to cure his own people, nothing else.
He will never break the curse, my lady. He will never allow it. You know this. We cannot know that. Surely his rage does not run so deep he would endanger his own clan. If Zathrian comes, I shall summon Witherfang. I possess that power. I also have the power to ensure Witherfang is never found. Tell Zathrian this. If he does not come, if he does not break the curse, he will never find Witherfang, and he will never cure his people. All right, that's fair. And what if there is no way to cure the or break the curse? I believe there is. There must be. If there is no way that he dies, then they all die. Ugh, that's a harsh way of taking it. I have an alternative plan. Kill the elves. Kill Zentarian. Nope. Very well. I'll go to Zentarian and tell him this. We shall await your return. Outside of this chamber, the passage leading back to the surface has been opened for you. Return with Zathrian as soon as you can. Okay. Well, I'm gonna run around and loot shit first. Oof. Okay. What do you got? What's over here? Oh, nope. I have. Maybe they'll let me sell items. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course. Everything is full. All metal round. What's the stats on it? Nope. Terrible. Damn it. I need a bag. Where am I getting stuck at? There was literally nothing there. Oh, Bioware, you and your finicky love of stairs. Okay, just took me back outside. Where the hell am I at? Oh, he's right outside. Ah, and here you are already. Hey, Terry, what are you doing here? You have carved a safe path through the forest. Safe enough for me to follow, anyhow. <laughs> He wishes to see if we did his work for him. Is that not why you were here now, sorcerer? Do not call me that, witch. I am keeper of this clan, and have done what I must. Did you acquire the heart? Wouldn't you like to know? So you wish to play games? I can sense you do not have it. Why are you leaving the ruin? Uh, so you knew about this ruin. Why didn't you tell me? I've been sent to bring you back to the Lady of the Forest. The Lady won't summon Witherfang until you break the curse. I've been oh, sent to bring you back to the Lady of the Forest. Is that what the spirit calls herself now? And what does she want with me, if I might inquire? She won't summon Witherfang unless you break the curse. You do understand that she actually is Witherfang? Yes, I thought she as such. She is the powerful spirit of this ancient forest that I summoned long ago and bound in the body of the wolf. Her nature is that of the forest itself. Beautiful and terrible, serene and savage, maiden and beast. She is the lady and Witherfang both. Two sides of a single being. The curse came first from her. Those she afflicted with it mirrored her own nature, becoming savage beast as well as human. Okay. But the werewolves have regained their minds. 
I find that difficult to believe. They attacked my clan, and they were the same savages then that they have ever been. They deserve to be wiped out and not defended. Come, I will accompany you back to the ruin. Let us go and speak to the spirit, and I will force her into Witherfang's form. He may then be slain and the heart taken. I assure you the werewolves have regained their minds. Even so, they are still the same worthless creatures that their ancestors were. They deserve nothing more than the misery they possess. This is not your battle, Grey Warden. Let us just take the heart and be done with it. Do you still have so much hatred after all this time? Uh, will killing Witherfang break the curse? Won't you at least consider talking to them? No, I won't help you kill them. I'm making this my fight. Very well, let's kill them and get this over with. Nope. Uh, do you still have so much hatred after all this time? You were not there. You did not see what, what, what they did to my son, to my daughter, and so many others. You are not Dalish. How can you know how we had to struggle to be safe? How could I have let their crimes go unanswered? <laughs> Shit, if you had fucking talked to them in the first place, they wouldn't have been fucking crimes. But those crimes were committed centuries ago. I remember them as if it were yesterday. Even if they are more than animals now, they desire nothing but revenge. They will never let my clan be. They just want you to remove the fucking curse, dude. So your answer is to let them suffer forever? If you held your own daughter's lifeless body in your arms, would you not also have sworn an eternity of pain on those who did such to her? Yeah, but the ones that did such to her are dead. Dumbass. I might have, but who is being punished now? Very well. You wish me to go and talk? I will do so. But what if it is only more revenge they wish? Will you safeguard me from harm? I do not think it will come to that. I fail to see the purpose behind this, but... Very well. It has been many centuries now. Let us see what the spirit has to say. So here you are, spirit. <sighs> she is the lady of the forest. You will address her properly. You've taken a name, spirit. And you've given names to your pets, these beasts who follow you? It was they who gave me a name, Zathriel. And the names they take are their own. They follow me because I help them to find who they are. Who they are has not changed from whom their ancestors were. Wild savages, worthless dogs. Their twisted shape only mirrors their monstrous hearts. He will not help us, lady. It is as I warned you. He is not here to talk. No, I am here to talk, though I see little point in it. We all know where this will lead. Your nature compels it, as does mine. It does not have to be that way. There is room in your heart for compassion, Zathrian. Surely your retribution is spent. My retribution is eternal, spirit, as is my pain. This is justice, no more. Are you certain your pain is the only reason you will not end this curse? Have you told the mortal how it was created? He said he summoned you and bound you to a wolf. And so he did. Witherfang and I are bound as one being. But such powerful magic could not be accomplished without Zathrian's own blood. Your people believe you have rediscovered the immortality of their ancestors, Zathrian. But that is not true. So long as the curse exists, so do you. No! That is not how it is! So was Xantharin's death in the curse? So how far would you go for your revenge, Xantharin? So was Xantharin's death in the curse? Can you blame him who wants to die? Um... No. The curse has a life of its own, though Zathrian's life depends on it. His death 
plays a part in its ending, however. Then we kill him! We tear him apart now! For all your powers of speech, you are beasts still. What would you gain from killing me? Only I know how the ritual ends, and I will never do it. Ha! <laughs> you see? We must kill them all! See? They turn on you as quickly. Do what you have come here to do, Grey Warden, or get out of my way! You'll end, you'll end that curse if I have to force you myself. Sorry, you had to come to this with Runner. Hmm. I don't care, Zentharian. I won't help you do this. You'll end the curse if I have to force you myself. Um, fuck. Why choose? Shit. Um. Dude is clearly an asshole. He just wants to save his own ass. That's how he's maintained immortality through blood magic. So let's see here. Um, you'll end that curse about to force you myself. We're standing for what's right here, no matter what. Then you die with them. All of you will suffer as you deserve. Cool, we're gonna go attack you. You are you shield bashing a greater shade? Nope, let them take care of that. We will take care of Zephyr. Uh turning the bones. See mental resistance. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Use that. Okay. That I'm gonna do get both of those up. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Okay, cool. Uh, wait, no, that was right. Oh, I thought you were going after him. A oh, fuck no, go after him. Is everybody attacking her? Oh, damn, what the fuck? Yes, revive her. What the fuck? to you Alistair wait where are all the werewolves at what are they doing are they like frozen inside? they're all fucking frozen nice okay but they were helping with the fucking fight apparently not all right cool there yeah, reload oh father okay
All right, Alistair. I'm gonna go over the shade. How's he almost dead? Here. You hit. Nice. Just lovely. She not attacking me either. Oh Lord. There, Jesus Christ. Take him down. Chill bash that asshole. God damn, what the fuck? He one shot at him. Nineteen. God damn. Damn. All right, cool. Well, it's all up to you, Deedle.
No, hold on. God damn, can he catch a break? What is this? A potent health versus. Huh. I wonder how much that heals. Whatever. I'm gonna do a regular one. Perfect. How much more does he have left? Okay, cool. Okay, let's see here. Nope, 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 nope. This one. Alright. Heal him. Generation on him. Dear Lord. Okay, I got a few more seconds on that cooldown. Okay, he's still got regeneration up. Okay. Uh, nope, nope, nope. He's frozen. So nothing can be done. So I could heal. Stone fist on him. All right, I can't bolt him. All right, that. kill him if there is no room in our hearts for mercy how may we expect there to be room in his i cannot do as you ask spirit i am too old to know mercy all i see are the faces of my children my people i i cannot do it Hmm, is that true or are you afraid of dying? Hasn't this gone on long enough? Sit there and would you really let your clan die for this? Hasn't this gone wait, hold on. I seem like there's a paragon renegade choice here. You know. Top is paragon, bottom is renegade, middle is neutral. Would you really let your clan die for this? Perhaps I have lived too long. This hatred in me is like an ancient, gnarled root. It has consumed my soul. What of you, spirit? You are bound to the curse just as I am. Do you not fear your end? You are my maker, Zathrian. You gave me form and consciousness where none existed. I have known pain and love, hope and fear, all the joy that is life. Yet of all things, I desire nothing more than an end. I beg you, Maker, put an end to me. We beg you, show mercy. 
You shame me, spirit. I am an old man, alive long past his time. Then you will do it? You will end the curse? Yes, I think it is time. Let us... Let us put an end to it all. Hopefully this cures both, fixes everybody. Perfect. It's over. She's gone. And we're human. I can scarcely believe it. Don't worry, it could be a lot worse. <laughs> I do good work. Time to pay up. So, what are you going to do now? Yes, we'll... Yes, well, I should get back to the Dalish camp. Don't worry, it could be a lot worse. Compared to the beast inside that we had to fight every moment, this is just fine. It feels glorious. So what are you going to do now? We'll leave the forest, I suppose. Find other humans, see what's out there for us. It should be quite interesting, don't you think? Thank you. We Not bad. will never forget you. Wait, no, I need you to fight. Mm. Oi. Well, that's done. Oh, well. Wait, is this back the other way? Into the camp? Or into the ruins? As you say. Wait. Did that free up space? The fuck? Oh, now it's ample. What the fuck? Oh, that's where I came in at. Okay. There, 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 there. Is this... Is this how I get out? You're a lord. I have a feeling the Dalish aren't going to be too happy. They're going to be like, oh, what the fuck? You killed our leader to save some brutish werewolves? Uh, we're snobs. It's only a matter of time before our nose evolves to our forehead. The fuck? So it was here in the ruins? Like here, here? That's where we came in at. I have no clue. I remember these roots. I'm going back this way. Yes. Oh, wait. Hold on. No, no, no. I need to go. The Elven Tombs. Wait, hold on. Forest, East Brazilian Forest, West Brazilian. Brazilian Forest. Outskirts. English Camp. Wait. The hell? Yes, go there. A random encounter in the middle of the woods I've already been through and cleared. 
Oh, fuck. Oh, thank the Maker. We need help. They attacked the wagon. Please help us. Follow me. I'll take you to them. Oh, God. It shall be done. Is this an ambush? Oh no, somebody slaughtered the fuck out of them cows. It's an ambush. And they're elves. Jesus Christ. Huh. Mm -hmm -hmm. Why aren't you doing anything, ma'am? Jesus Christ. Of course, of course, of course. Oh, nice, lovely. She's the last one alive. What the fuck? Wait. Is this it? Is this leading me out? Where is this at? Oh, Jesus Christ. It shall be done. It has begun. Ugh. One reload and I'm already lost. What the fuck? I shall do it. Jesus Christ. This game is a pain in the fucking ass. I mean, I'm sure this game was fun back in the day. But now, it just seems like a daunting chore to play. And now it just saved again. What the fuck? Ugh. Oh, and I'm stuck on the stairs. Lord, heaven forbid.
Venture forth? Yes. Am I traveling halfway across the map? No. The Brazilian forest. Fuck. <sighs> oh, fuck me. So this is one of those. You have to do this. God damn it. Oh, thank the maker. We need help. They attack the wagon. Oh, it's an ambush. Uh what if I turn around and said, fuck this wagon? Shall be done. Mm, yep, let me. Yep, I'm gonna turn right around. Just fuck it. I'll leave it. I don't give a damn about their shit. There's oh lord. Yep, yep, nope, ambush confirmed, done. Go, attack the fuck out of her. Threaten. Kill wall. Okay, cool, go attack her. Attack her, we're gonna winter grass. You want a stone. Yeah, attack her. Stone face. You. Shield bash her. You. Oh, you've already done yours. Oh, we killed her? Yay! This is fine. We can totally take it anyway. Uh, go ahead and wait. You took fast walk from there? Nope. Put it on. You. Grubeal. You put down helpful. Perfection. Alright, cool. Morgan, why aren't you attacking me, somebody? Here, attack him. One's a grasp. Good. Now attack him. Lightning. Oh, Alistair's dead. Not surprising. He's always dying. Yep. And then go over here, here. Use that. Regener Wait, did I just? I took it off the hot bar. No way to lock it. Yeah, lock the hot bar. And another heal, dude. Hmm. There's archers? How many we got? One, two, three, four. Now oh, what the fuck? Here. Yeah, let's just start single targeting one. Here, attack, you, attack. Okay, cool. You. And then we just Nope. Uh regeneration on her. You Pop a lesser. Perfect. And then single. Wait, are you on attack? Good. Now attack that one. You attack that one. 
tower regenerate generation on her now we're gonna go back to attacking that one hmm yep yep doop, doop, doop. attacking attacking oh it's all blocked why no no let's take care of the one in the back Why are you not auto attacking? There we go. Here, just do that. Oh, what the fuck? The elven assassin is wounded and unconscious, but alive. You could tie him up and talk to him if you wish. Yeah, let's mm. wake him up, tie him up. Oh, what? I. Oh. Oh. I rather thought I would wake up dead. How? Or not wake up at all, as the case may be. But I see you haven't killed me yet. Wake up dead? How the fuck do you wake up dead? Because if you're dead, you don't wake up. Hmm. Uh, let's see. I have some questions that could be easily rectified. I decided I wanted to torture you first. Quiet. You'll answer when spoken to. Uh, I have some questions. Ah, so I am to be interrogated. Let me Very carefully. <laughs> My name is Zeph Laps Zeph Necromancer. <laughs> I am a member of the Antiven Crows, brought here for the sole purpose of slaying any surviving Grey Wardens, which I have failed at, sadly. My name is Zevran. Zeph to my friends. Remember Antiven Crows. Hold on, I'm rereading because I was zoned out. Brought you here for the sole purpose of slaying any surviving Grey Wardens, which I have failed at, sadly. Okay. I'm um, rather happy you failed. Uh, what are the Antiven Crows? Who hired you to kill us? Or are you telling me all this? Alright, I'm done with the questions. <laughs> Who are the Antiven Crows? This elf is a crow. That makes sense. They are an order of assassins out of Antiva. I understand they almost run that nation, and are hired only at great expense. Quite right. I'm surprised you haven't heard much of the crows out here. Back where I come from, we're rather infamous. Hmm, okay. I find it ironic that infamous, in being not a prefix, famous, you know, being well known. Infamous means not well known. But yet it's used in a term in a way that means that you're well known but for mischievous means language 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 i love language not for being a good assassin i see <laughs> came all the way from antiva who hired you to kill let's see not for being a good assassin i see oh fine is that what you fereldans do mock your prisoners <laughs> such cruelty Ah, you came all the way from Antiva? Not precisely. I was in the neighborhood when the offer came. The crows get around, you see. Hmm. Are you a common horse? <laughs> I'm surprised you're not laying on your back right now. Who hired you to kill us? A rather taciturn fellow in the capital. Logan, I think his name was. Yes, that's it. Ah, okay. Does that mean you're loyal to Logan? 
I have no idea what his issues are with you. The usual, I imagine. You threaten his power, yes? Beyond that, no, I am not loyal to him. I was contracted to perform a service. And now that you fail that service? Oh, well, that's between Loghain and the Crows, and between the Crows and myself. And between you and me. Isn't that what we're establishing now? When were you to see him next? I wasn't. If I had succeeded, I would have returned home and the Crows would have informed your Loghain of the results. If he didn't already know. If I had failed, I would be dead. Or I should be, at least, as far as the Crows are concerned. No need to see Loghain, then. If you had failed? What can I say, huh? I am an eternal optimist. Although the chances of succeeding at this point seem a bit slim, don't they? <laughs> No, I don't suppose you'd find that funny, would you? Hmm. How much were you paid? I wasn't paid anything. The crows, however, were paid quite handsomely, or so I understand. Which does make me about as poor as a chantry mouse, come to think of it. Being an Antivan crow isn't for the ambitious, to be perfectly honest. Hmm. Then why are you one? Well, aside from a distinct lack of ambition, I suppose it's because I wasn't given much of a choice. The crows bought me young. I was a bargain, too, or so I'm led to believe. But don't let my sad story influence you. The crows aren't so bad. They keep one well supplied. Wine, women, men, whatever you happen to fancy. Though the whole severance package is garbage, let me tell you. If you're considering joining, I'd really think twice about it. Oh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> I'll take that under advisement. Why are you telling me all of this? <laughs> Why not? I wasn't paid for silence. Not that I offered it for sale, precisely. Hmm. Aren't you at least loyal to your employers? Loyalty is an interesting concept. If you wish, and you're done interrogating me, we can discuss it further. Oh, he's up for hire. Okay. I'm not done questioning you yet. Very well. Ask, and thou shalt receive. All right. All right, I'm done with questions. <laughs> then, unless you're quite stuck on cutting my throat or something equally gruesome, perhaps you'd care to hear a proposal. Oh. Talk, but know that I am watching you closely. Well, here's the thing. I failed to kill you, so my life is forfeit. That's how it works. If you don't kill me, the crows will. Thing is, I like living. And you obviously are the sort to give the crows pause, so let me serve you instead. You know what? Some people would be inclined to question the loyalty of an ex-assassin who was hired to kill you in the first place. But he's not even getting paid for it to begin with. So I would trust this guy. Oddly enough. I wouldn't expect the same amount of loyalty because he's not even giving it to us early deal. But if I make sure he's well fed, pockets full, I'm sure his loyalty will come around. Uh, let's see. What are my choices, though? Uh, can I expect the same amount of loyalty from you? Nope. Uh, and what's to stop you from finishing the job later? It's not. It doesn't work like that. He's not that committed. Uh, you must think I'm royally stupid. That's not how that works. Uh, what do you want in return? Why would I want your service? Those are the two most legit questions there. Uh, what do you want in return? Well, let's see. Being allowed to live would be nice and would make me marginally more useful to you. And somewhere down the line, if you should decide that you no longer have need of me, then I go on my way. Until then, I am yours. Is that fair? Eh... Uh. No. Um. Why would I want your service? Why? Because I am skilled at many things, from fighting to stealth and picking locks. I could also warn you should the Antivan crows attempt something more sophisticated now that my attempts have failed. I also know a great many jokes. Twelve massage techniques, six different card games. I do wonderful at parties, no? Ha! <laughs> ha! Okay. Uh, very well. 
I accept what? your offer. You're taking the assassin with us now? Does that really seem like a good idea? Uh, Alistair, Alistair, you, you lack, you lack the nuances of uh, how, how these things work. It's okay. <laughs> I, I forgive your, your pointy little head. Uh, let's see. If you want to kill him, Alistair, then do it. You're here, aren't you? Collecting cast-offs is what I do. Damn. Hmm. <laughs> can I persuade the idiot? We could use it. If you want to kill him, Alistair, then you do it. I... Well... No. I suppose we could use whatever help we can get. Still, if there was a sign we were desperate, I think it just knocked on the door and said hello. A fine plan. But I would examine your food and drink far more closely from now on, were I you. That's excellent advice for anyone. I hereby pledge my oath of loyalty to you until such a time as you choose to release me from it. I am your man, without reservation. This I swear. Hmm. No, no, not gonna make up the party. Damn it. Uh keeping it as is. Oh what the fuck was all that? More again? You got a level. Hmm. Next. Expert combat training. Character has more battles. Tier weapon talents. Mages can take more damage from an attack before it interrupts their spell casting. Oh, okay. Let's see. Stealing, trap making, survivals, herbalism. Ooh, expert herbalism. Poison making. Ugh. Expert combat training. My tactics, no. Okay, so it's one of these two. Um, all right, let's see. What am I doing? Expert herbalism, expert combat training. Yeah, let's do expert combat training. I mean, she could take less damage. Ooh, does she get a bear shape? Should I? No, I should not. I need it. Flame Blast. I need AoE. Bone of Cold. Shock. Tempest. Hmm. I could do telekinetic weapons now. Nope. Take that back. I'm gonna do... Cone of Cold. Yep. Play. Let's see, what are we doing? Alistair, we're out of combat. You can... Death root. As you say. Assassin. More death root. Wait, I can't. What? Damn it. Here, just run off the ledge. Oh. Gotta go all the way around just to get all the loot. Alright, is that everything? Is that everybody? Got it, 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 got it. All right, now we're leaving. Wait. Herbalism. Nope. As you like. Wait, is she different? What does she got? Nope, same thing. I need.
You can make traps now. Now. Uh. Yes. Alrighty. Wait, can I not cross that? Fuck. Lord, I did not realize this place was this big. Oh, heading back to the elven camp. It is done. The essence of the wolf's heart has banished all traces of cursed blood from the hunters. It is too bad that Zathrian had to die. I. I felt it when he departed. <clears throat> I think he was ready to go. Yeah, I know. Who wants to live forever? Ooh, do I lie to him? Tell him he was a hero? Did you know about his connection to the curse? I suspected. But Zathrian did not like to talk about that. Nonetheless, the curse is over. And no one else will be subjected to it. It will be difficult to fill Zathrian's shoes. He was our keeper for many centuries, and he will be sorely missed. But I am keeper now. Let me say it officially then. I hereby swear to uphold the terms of the ancient contract our people formed with the Grey Wardens. Call and we shall come, with great speed and purpose. And we shall strike at your foes. This I swear. Hmm, spank you. Spank you very hard. With all of my heart. It has been a long time since the Dalish march to war, but I trust that in the end, we shall make a difference for you. Boom, got a level up on Alistair. What's his level up strength? Oh, but yeah, you need more strength. Go there, 29. Yep, okay, cool. Next. Let's just deal bravery, cleanse area, overpower. He needs these shield mastery. Mm, go with bravery. The damage, physical resistance, and mental resistance. Holds a bonus critical chance and increases proportionally to the number of enemies above two that a warrior is engaging. Good. That means when he's got more on him with his threatened ability, he's doing more damage overall. Boom. And he got another tactic slot whenever I decide to update him. Can I can I get what's in the chest now? Huh? Can Let I? us pray to the creators, Nathalie. A songbook. Sweet. Inventory full. Oh, Alright, cool. Father, may you forgive our part in this tragedy. Would our sons and daughters have died if not for our pride? Falandine, friend of the dead, may you guide our sons and daughters safely into the beyond. And most of all, he who hunts alone, the dread wolf. He will come for us in the end, but today he turned a blind eye. And for that, we are thankful. For we are the Dalish, the keepers of the lost lore, the walkers of the lonely path. And never again shall we submit. So is that where Dreadwolf's gonna come in? Part four? The prophecy she just mentioned? And the Dreadwolf will return for them? We are working hard to make Interesting. equipment for all of the hunters. Our armaments will be superior to anything else you find on the battlefield. I would like to barter with you. I am no merchant, but I have plenty that you may need. 
Yes. Oh, thank God. Let me fucking sell shit. Okay, cool. Weapons. Dark spawn short bow. It is garbage. 34 decks. That'd be great for someone to use. Hmm. Mace. Terrible. Warden's longsword. Let's see. Hold on. Alice there. Nope. Garbage. Sell it. Heavy chain mail. Sell it. Mythos blessing. Harvard's Aegis. You. 1.5 missile deflection. No. So that's garbage as well. Shiver. Silver cord. Elf rope. Orphan Warrior's Belt. Let's see. Beetle. What's his? He's got Warden's Oath. Going down to me. Plus two to con. Gives me extra health, which is nice. Seeker Circle, which is Liliana. Shiver. Hmm. Silver Cord. Ooh. Morgan. Mental Resistance. Spell Resistance. 20% Cold. What do you have on Alistair? We're still Waters. Plus one willpower. Hmm. Like villain, Dalish gloves, extract, diamond, emerald. Feel like I need to sell this. Sell, sell. And gray silver bowl, sell. Fancy scrolls, keep the glorious for. Yes, sell all of those. Garnet, sell. Robbie Crunch, gonna sell all of those. I'm never using that dog again. I know he's such a good boy. I know, but tactically, I there's other options. The role he would come in is the role that I'm my player's taking. Which is melee DBS. He doesn't do great as a tank. Sorry. Sorry, chat. The dog can't come. Not another word about it, okay? Final decision. The dog's not coming. I know. I'm a heartless ass for that. I understand. But we just don't have space for him. Alright. Sell the poison. Sell the gem. Sell all the belts. All of them. Whoop pelt. Sell it. Sell it. Alright. Cool. What else we got? Elf fruit, fire crystals. What is this actually used in? Bring them to spirit shards. Concentrating agent. Sell bag. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let me come back. Inventory. I have to do this at camp because I don't have any of those people that need those gifts. We are working hard to make enough equipment for all of the hunters. Our armaments will be superior to anything. I am no merchant, but. All right, what do you got as far as this goes? Crafting. Hmm. Elford? Boom. Yes, 99. Uh. Greater health recipe? as expertise but yeah whatever yep yep both the those what do you got for armor in dalish gloves what if they are better on morgan no she does plus 20 percent fire damage i forgot she had those i could have her doing more fire damage all right cool dalish boots Chancer's footing. Does more base armor. Just a little more fatigue, but it's only three defense extra. Uh, uh Dalish armor. Maybe chain mount. Nope, that's what I sold. Clan shield. Nope. Chess and robes. Nope. Wait. 
plus 10% cold damage. Elf rope. Restrict it to warrior or rogue. Nope. Other. Let's see. Injury kits. Is anybody injured? No, if I go back to camp, that's all cured. So that's fine. Adder's kiss. Concentration. Poisons. Poisons. You got to have poison making to use poisons that you buy. What the fuck? Hmm. Silver brooch. I don't know who that goes to, but I'm buying it. Manual shapeshifter, engraved silver bowl, silver bowl. Okay, yeah, that's all that. In that case, they don't have anything else, do they? Mm hmm. Okay. Boom. Boom. All right, in that case, I am going back to camp. Seems my job here is done. Oh no, I gotta give him a scar. So the hunters were cured, but not in time for my Denyla. I found Denyla. She gave me this scarf. By the creators. Denyla's scarf. Zathrian said she was killed by the same curse plaguing the others. Where is she now? She's dead. That's all you need to know. So, the Keeper did not lie? The curse killed her? You are certain of this? I killed her. You must know she was a werewolf. Absolutely. And she sends you her love as well. Hmm. <sighs> I... In a roundabout way, yes, the curse did kill her, but the curse drove her insane. She wanted to end her own life. So I ended that life. I didn't want to, but she forced her hand by attacking me. So it was kind of like suicide by cop. It's pretty much what she did. Suicide by Grey Warden. Um, are you sure? Of course I am. Do you doubt me? If you must know, she was a werewolf. Absolutely. And she sends her love as well. Ah. Tough choices. Um, if you must know, she was a werewolf. So I was right. But what became of her? She died, Athras, but not before she sent her love. She told you that? Yes. That is what she would do. <sighs> at least she is at peace. Here, take this amulet. I hope it is worth something to you as a reward. Now I should go and make arrangements. I must mourn my wife as is proper. Dareth Shiroth, fare you well. Oh. But is he still not? Please leave me be. I shall hunt my own wolf now that these monsters are gone. Please leave me be. I shall hunt my own wolf now that these monsters are gone. Uh, well, that's one side quest I'm not doing. Chat. I could not help the poor guy score. Very well. Ah. Uh. Is that it? Yep, I need to get out of here. I'm done. Done. Going back to camp. I'm not even sure where to go after this. All I know is, is that I need to free up my inventory. Hmm. Let me talk to Mithra one last time. I understand we will be joining you in battle as soon as the hunters have recovered. I look forward to it. Well, spank you too, ma'am. Have a care where your eyes linger, Alistair. Yes, well, don't worry. It's not what you think. I see. I was looking at your nose. And what is it about my nose that captivates you so? I was just thinking that it looks exactly like your mother's. I hate you so much. Hmm? What? Never mind. Okay, that was pretty funny. I give him that one. Uh, uh, yes, gather my party. 
We are going back to camp. I have been studying Mother's Grimoire. Do you wish to hear what I have found? What did you find? Tell me all the deets. Tis not what I expected. I had hoped for a collection of her spells, a map of the power that she commands. But this is not it. Oh. That was nothing? Disappointed then? Yeah, you look disturbed. Disturbed? Yes, perhaps that is the right word. One thing in particular within her writings disturbs me. Here, in great detail, Flemeth explains the means by which she has survived for centuries. A spell of immortality? That should prove useful, no? Let me guess, she drinks blood, eats children. A spell of immortality? Oh, if only it were so. Flemeth has raised many daughters over her long lifetime. There are stories of these many witches of the wilds throughout Chastened Legend, yet I have never seen a one, and always wondered why not. And now I know. They are all Flemeth. When her body becomes old and wizened, she raises a daughter, and when the time is right, she takes her daughter's body for her own. Oh. Really? And that's what she plans to do with you? Are you certain about this? So is Flemeth immortal or no? No, she's not immortal. She's basically doing a body swap voodoo thing. Um, skeleton key. You ever see it? That explains what's going on here. Sure, I understand what you mean. But why would she risk sending you with me? So what do you intend to do about it? Let's see. Why? So why would she risk sending you know. to me? Perhaps tis as she said, the Darkspawn threaten her as much as they threaten anyone else. Or perhaps she believes that this journey will make me more powerful. According to the tome, if the host is already powerful and trained in magic, it takes far less time for Flemeth to settle in. So if you died, she would have another daughter? Are you certain about this? So is Flemeth immortal or not? Oh. I'm not sure I understand what you mean. So what do you intend to do about it? There is only one possible response to this. Flemeth needs to die. I will not sit about like an empty sack waiting to be filled. Flemeth must be slain, and I need your help to do it. Okay. I heard you. Let me process. Perhaps you should talk to her about it first. Kill Flemeth, isn't that a little extreme? Why do you need my help? Can this not wait until another time? Forget it. I'm not getting any help. I'm not going to help you kill your mother. Um Kill Flemeth is an outlaw extreme. Perhaps you should talk to her about it first. Isn't that a little extreme? It may seem so. If you think of Flemeth as a mother. Think of her instead as an ancient abomination that intends to use her own flesh and blood to extend her life beyond all natural limits. She did not wish anyone to get a hold of this information, least of all me. Now I have. If I do not act on what I know, then more the fool am I. True. I agree. Um... <laughs> I... Don't think you should talk to her about it first. Uh, why do you need my help? Can this not wait? Forget it. Very well. I will help you if I can. Uh, why do you need my because help? Because if she is slain while I am near, I am not certain that she will not simply be able to take possession of me right there. So obviously, I cannot be the one to do it. Hmm. Perhaps you should talk to her about it first. And what would that do? At best, I would receive pointless reassurances. At worst, Flemeth would imprison me once she became aware I know what I do. I know my mother well enough to be confident she would show no mercy when it came to her own survival. I must do the same. Fair enough. Uh, very well. I will help you if I can. Then what needs to be done is for you to go back to Flemeth's hut in the Kakari Wilds without me. Confront her and slay her quickly. 
I doubt she would truly be dead even then, but it will take her years to find a new host and recover her power, if that is even possible. The thing I must have is her true grimoire. With it, I can defend against her power in the future. Everything else in her hut is yours. Do I have a time limit on this? Not really, but the sooner the better, no? Okay. Sounds like you just wanted someone to do your dirty work. I'll see what I can do. I am grateful. The sooner this can be done, the sooner it will set my mind at ease. So let's stay in the Witch of the Wilds. Okay. Now we're here. Emissary. Whoa. Emissary Prather. Emissary Karen. You witnessed the rarest of things, Warden. The Dalish stand ready to defend Ferelden. Hmm. Be Always, ready. Warden. The Circle of Magi stands ready to assist, Grey Warden, as do the Templars of the Chantry. Be ready. As is my duty, Grey Warden. Of course, your duty. He said duty. <laughs> um, Alistair. Something on your mind? Yeah. You want to talk about Duncan? don't have to do that. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. Just thought you might need to talk. I... I should have handled it better. Duncan warned me right from the beginning that this could happen. Any of us could die in battle. I shouldn't have lost it. Not when so much is riding on us. Not with the blight and... And everything. I'm sorry. Yes. It's... <laughs> There's no need to apologize. I'd like to have a proper funeral for him. Maybe once this is all done, if we're still alive. I don't think he had any family to speak of. Hmm. What about other Grey Wardens? I don't know. I have no idea what the Grey Wardens do for them when they fall in battle. Dwarves don't practice cremation, do they? How do your people honor your dead? We entomb our dead within the stone beneath our things, our thakes. Our ways are not your ways, nor Duncan's. I, honestly, it doesn't matter. That's dead. But we entomb our dead. I heard about that, now that I think about it. Their spirits return to the rock, strengthening the foundation of the tide. Tide. so strange. Mm. <laughs> No stranger than burning your honor dead to ashes. I suppose you're right. Thank you. It was good to talk about this with a friend. <gasps> That's a lot to me. The idiot calls us a friend? Aw, oh, I'm touched. Truly, truly I am touched. Ah, uh, let's see. Maybe I'll go to High Ever with you when you go? The fuck is High Ever? Is that like the afterlife? He, That's good he was a hear. friend of mine too. It's nice to know I'm not the only one who remembers him well. Alistair approves. Plus two. Okay, cool. Uh, enchantment. Um, Stan. Liana. Yes? I'd like to talk. Well, here I am. Hi. What would someone like you be doing in Lothring's Chantry? What is meant by someone like me? Uh, you know, beautiful, charming woman like yourself. God, I really set it on for her to be a love interest. Uh, you just don't seem to belong in a cloister. Did you think I was always a cloistered sister? The Chantry provides succor and safe harbor to all who seek it. I chose to stay and become a thumbed. Sucker, you say? <laughs> oh, 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 now you're talking. Sucker. <laughs> and why were you seeking safe harbor? The Chantry does not pride 
And you should. I desired time apart from the world. I was a traveling minstrel in all eight. Tales and songs were my life. I performed, and they rewarded me with applause and coin. And my skill in battle? Well, you pick up different skills when you travel, yes? Yes, of course. Um, let's move on. Ah. I knew I recognized her accent. It's French. Orlais is based off French, just in case you didn't know, chat. Their whole culture is based off France. Their armor style, their building architecture, everything is French inspired. Okay, um, Severin, what do you got? Here I am. Care to answer some questions? Oh, this should be good. Go ahead. Uh, what did it take to become an assassin? Well. The Crows would have you believe that it is an involved process that takes years of training. The sort that tests both your resolve and your endurance. Survive that process and maybe, just maybe, you're good enough to start being considered one of them. But quite frankly, the truth is that all it requires is the desire to kill people for a living. It's surprising how well one can do in such a field. It doesn't take any special skill. I don't know about that. It's simply a slightly different skill set from your average killer, as I see it. An assassin simply specializes in striking from stealth, and in maximizing that first attack to be as lethal as possible. Debilitate your foe, either by poison or by crippling their limbs, makes any follow-up combat you need to engage in that much simpler. Gotcha. You always use poison, then? I do. It is not something inherent in an assassin's skills, however. Merely something complimentary. Of course, the crows like to pretend that their abilities are trade secrets, shrouded in shadows and wrapped in a blanket of mystery. So let's just keep this between you and me, shall we? Hmm? Here I am. Can you teach others to be an assassin? Oh, I certainly could, but I won't. I swore to the crows that the things they taught me were to remain a secret. And while, yes, they are already angry at me, I'd rather not push things, you see. Ah. You don't think this is important? And what if I ordered you to do it? Very well. I respect your word. I respect his if word. If you are truly insistent, well, let me think about it. The crows are already angry at me, yes? Who knows? Oh. Here I am. Hmm. Want to discuss something oh, personal? This should be good. What would you like to discuss? Oh, <laughs> never mind. Yeah. Let's go talk to the dog. Yes, I know he can't come, but he's so precious. Look at him. I'm gonna pet him. <laughs> he rolls over. Oh, look at him. Oh, oh, go, go, go. I'm going to hold on. No, no, no. I need another pet. No. Pet him. Yeah, I'm gonna pet him again. Oh, 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 look at him. He's so cute. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, okay. And, and, and guess what? We're gonna pet him again. Yes, because he's such a special boy and I feel so sad that I can't take him, but I'm going to pet him again. Yes, I am. Look at him. He's bored and he's so happy. Oh my god. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Let me give him a bone. We're going to give him a bone. Yes, we are. Where are the items? Where's the bone? Where's the bone? Where's the bone? There it is. Ox bone. Uh, right click. Give his gift. Oh, look at him. Yep. Give him a bone. And he loved it so, so much. All right. Let's go talk to the fucking grouch. He's an asshole. Yes. Uh. I wanted to discuss something you Speak mentioned. Then. Mm. What? Then I suggest we move on. Why do we even have that as an option then? God damn it. I have a question. I am hardly surprised. Hmm. Actually never mind. Very well. <laughs> Is there nothing else to talk to this guy about? Okay. Alright, let's let's go. As you wish. Nope. Uh, inventory. This is nothing to talk to him for. Let's go to get these gifts up. Severin. 
You can with gloves. Gloves? You're giving me gloves? What for? If you don't want to give it back. I did not mean to sound ungrateful. It is just... Wait. These are Dalish, are they not? My mother was Dalish and had a pair very similar to these. The leather was less thick and it had more embroidery, but these are very close and quite handsome. You're welcome. Do I seem surprised? Perhaps I am. Still, I appreciate the fact that you even thought of me. No one has simply given me a gift before. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. Pay up. I need you to pay up now. Alright, inventory. Who else am I giving a gift to? Andrasse's Grace. That's... Small white wildflower, commonly known as Andrasse's Grace. That's probably Liliana. She used to be part of the Chantry. Blah, blah, blah. Flower. I don't know. Alistair is pretty gay. He might like it. Flowers? Oh, fuck. For me? It is her. <gasps> they smell lovely. And there's something so familiar about them. These, these were my mother's flowers. She would sprinkle the dry petals amongst her clothes. Oh, they smell just like her. Thank you so much. Hmm, minor cunning. Wait, is that different? Plus 15. Woof. All right, cool. Uh, let's see gifts. Arthros pended. Uh, let's see what else we got as far as gifts go. Silver bracelet, silver rune, silver brooch, silver madonna, small gold bar. The assassin seems like he would like just plain flat up gold. Severin, yeah, let's give him the gold. I shall treasure it. Thank you. God damn, that was a lot. Shit, that moved him almost up a full bar. I'm gonna quit shit to him. Let's see here. Is there really not much else I can do? Fancy scroll. A scroll of parchment decorated with fancy gold handles. Honestly, I think the only person that would appreciate that would be when she would appreciate that. Plus eight out of it. Anything. Mm. What else we got? That it? Silver brooch. Sunblock Vince. Silver bracelet. Silver brooch. Silver medallion. I have no idea where those go. I'm gonna go look. I'm gonna go look up a, a deal. Hold on. There's a whole deal. Uh, almost there. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Where are we at? Silver. 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 QRS. Silver. 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 Silver medallion. Morgan. Silver. Silver brooch, Morgan. Silver bracelet, uh, that's fair market. Anybody can have it. So, but the brooch and the chain. Wait, hold on. Was it a chain? Medallion. Brooch and a chain. 
or medallion goes to Morgan. The bracelet is free game. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Morgan. Alright. So the brooch. A earned. fine gift. Plus eight. You have my thanks. A fine gift. Plus you have seven. My okay, so for bracelet that goes to anybody, free game, who's the lowest? Oh god. That dog's way to fuck up there. Sten. And eh, let's give it to him. Unexpected. Thank you. I still appreciate you, regardless how much of a grumpy asshole you are. Sun Blonde is going to go to an alcoholic if I ever come across one. Blank Vellum. What the fuck is the Vellum used for? Protecting illustration and script. Hold on. I'm tired of having shit in my inventory that I don't know what the fuck is used for. Skill of fire. What was that? Minor magic. No. Oh. Minor willpower. Minor cunning. The dog doesn't shit because he's a dog. Stand nothing. Severin nothing. Heal nothing. Alistair what does it get? Minor constitution. Okay. Fruit, oh, fruit. What's the difference? No, oh, just fire stacks. Skills. Oh, I can't use those yet. When Morgan. All right, cool. No, you're not late. Is that an honor among thieves? Show me. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's D and D. Honor among thieves. See it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Probably at Walmart, but like eight dollars, seven dollars, some change. Maybe it's a plus tax. Such a good shirt. Saw it, I had to get it. Do I love you? Love's a strong word, but, uh, get you one? Well, like, I don't even know if they're still in stock. I got it like a month ago. What size do you wear? Hey, I, I can't get you one until you tell me what size you wear. Large? Bro, you're not a lord. I wear small. I wear smalls. Of course, I do like my shirts kind of tight. Um, but you're not that chunky. I think you you fit in the medium just fine. Bro, you're not fat. Trust me, you're not fat, bro. Look at look into my eyes. Would these eyes lie to you? I you're not fat. Tighten your boobies. Motherfucker wear a bra. N yes, these eyes would. Okay. No. Oh. All right, cool. So, got the Chantry, got the Elves. Who's next on the list of people I need to collect? Uh, you, what do you got? If there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. Uh, let's see your words. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. Discount? Oh my god. 
Other gloves. Yeah, sell those. Okay. I have no idea if these are any good or if they're worth selling. Why do I have 47 slots? Hmm. I only have like one item. I can use runes. Plus two fire damage. The one I got he does plus two lightning damage. And it's Alistair's sword that he currently has. Death root extract. That's for any rouge that I have in my party. What the hell is frozen lightning? Prussian frozen lightning gives the user a small bonus to electricity resistance. No. Cross rock fire crystal. Okay. Same thing, just different names. Different elements. Gotcha. Final Fantasy 16 from my PS5. Well, there's two ways. Uh, you can actually set up a your Twitch account, your login for Twitch to there. The difference is, is that if you stream directly from the PS5, you will not have your your overlays, all your special features that you have, whatever like that. It's literally just straight video from PS5. You would not have your camera and whatever mic you have set up on PS5. If you want to use a cam for PS5, you have to use the PlayStation HD camera. It will not accept any other camera. If you have a capture card, you just loop it through the capture card and set up as a video capture on OBS or whatever you're using, uh, Streamlabs OBS. And you just use it as a video input and capture it through there. Uh, but other than that, no, nah, that's that's pretty much it, though. Uh, oh, and if y'all are new to the channel, if you haven't already, go ahead and follow. Um, and I'll be posting this later on YouTube, so check it out on there as well. Uh, in the meantime, what the hell is all this shit here used for? I have no idea. What the fuck is a villain used for? And a PS5 camera because I panicked. Uh, oh, okay. So you can stream directly from the PS5 with the camera. You won't have all your fancy overlays. Uh, so if you have the capture card, setting it up is as simple as just plugging it all in. Depending on your capture card you have, there might be third party software you have to install for it. But otherwise, by default, OBS, I know for a fact will recognize it as a video input and you could just select it in your sources whenever you go to create a new source yeah same thing i have a uh, aver media because elgato was too expensive and aver media does the exact same thing same amount of reviews everything so um you use streamlines i use obs because it's free but still nothing wrong with it still the same quality Ah, uh, so but still, I wait. You play, you play Cap, Cappy. You played uh, Dragon Age Orders before. What the fuck is Vellum's used for? I know what the, a Vellum is. I just don't know what the fuck they use for in the context of this game. Because if I don't find a use for them, I'm selling them all. Not death root, right? Sell it. Sell. what as much as you going on about how alistair's such a king you love alistair the dude's a baffling idiot i don't see how he's made it through his entire life wait i know duncan duncan is the reason this guy's made it through his entire life so the fact that you've never played blows my mind Okay, to be fair, same. I've only played Inquisition before this. I did play a fuck ton of this, though, but I grinded the fuck out of the forest at the beginning before the big Dark Spawn battle. Okay, you haven't gotten as far as Morgan. Let me, let, let me show you. Here, watch this. Hold on. You gotta see this. See this. They're not exactly boobies, but, but it's pretty close, okay? See? They're clearly a bee. There be. I, I would say that's about mm, about a 34 or 36 B. 
<laughs> yeah, I know. The enchanter elements are not that great. Okay, so, but that that's it. Okay, hold on. But you got the other one over here. She doesn't show off as much cleavage. She's been part of the church, you know? So, but, I mean, like, look at that. Look at that. The breastplate obviously pushes the boobs in and up a little, so you get that, you know, that little roll effect there on her armor. But she's, she's about the same size. She's about, you know, 34, 36B as well. Okay, so to be fair, when I played Inquisition, I played a Dalish female elf, uh, like the ranger type class. I did bows a lot and I was bouncing around all over the place. Uh, so my romance option though was the the human, the short human guy that had the full beard that could be mistaken for a dwarf. There was also a Grey Warden, but I don't want to spoil it. I just say he's a Grey Warden. But yeah, he's who I romance as an elf. Because when it comes to like female options, the only female option you had was Sarah, which was the blonde headed chick that was always talking about Jane's that spoke in inner city slang. And then the Cassandra, but I was female, so she wasn't into the lesbian thing. And then the diplomat. You didn't like your own. You had Alistair. Alistair's an in Inquisition. You could have totally romanced him. The baffling idiot. Don't say it all. I love it. It's so good. It would have tickled too much. Why? Because he's a virgin. Oh, he just would have ended up with a bruised belly button. Come on. Okay. Well, I've talked to pretty much everybody. Not everybody about the same thing, but still hold on. I need to clear up my inventory while I'm sitting there talking. Ugh, yes, he is a saint. <laughs> An inexperienced saint. Just say it. A scholar? Doubt. Doubt. Hard press on the X for that. He's he's far from a scholar. Okay, so okay, I need to get rid of shit. What do I have? Uh, is this better than her fucking she needs 34 decks to use it still it's the same damage less crit chance higher armor pin higher range increases our strength modifier barely plus 2 damage or rapid aim it's only barely it'll even out about the same uh, if she used that one Hold on, she's got fire bolts. Okay. The fuck? The fuck are the crystals? Hold on. You never play LA Noir either? Okay, to be fair, I did play it. I didn't beat it. It was too much. Because it, you, it required you to have some insights on facial cues for when people are lying. The problem is, is the game is so poorly designed on those facial cues that you couldn't tell what the fuck they were doing. So I just gave up after the like third mission, fourth mission. Yeah, it was terrible. Uh, so after us pinned it. So, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Alright, hold on, chat. I'm gonna...
fucking alts have? I gotta Google. What the fuck are vellum is used for? Mm -mm -mm. Rockstar doesn't make bad games. felons this item can be found throughout the game random treasure throughout the game notes this item is not used for any crafting recipes or quests and thus can be safely sold to vendors for gold fuck yes okay it's not used for a goddamn thing why the fuck do they have uh uh all right cool let me go to the vendor over here Enchantment? Uh, no, no, thank you. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, your know. friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along on the road. It's kind of like saying, uh, you know, Bioware doesn't make bad games. Okay, let's see your wares. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. Yeah, my discount? Alright, cool. Sell all those. Boom. Okay, concentrator agent, death root, deep mushroom. I'm trying to just clear up literal space. Journeyman flame, paralyzed, elixirs of grounding. I started using more of these items, maybe. Oh wait, no. I can't. I can't put it down there right now. But God damn it. Novice Frost Room. Novice Hail Room. Plus five physical resistance. Spell resistance. Damage to undead. Ugh. Sky Vault. That's a gift? The fuck? Private what are private documents used for? Hold on, let me let me hold on. Private documents. God damn. It's not used for anything. It's a junk item. Oh, fuck. Okay, cool. So, all those. Oh, lord. This game is going to be the death of me someday. Jesus Christ. Okay, cool. 44 crafting. What else have I got here? These items are useless too, so... What is used at later levels for enchanting? I don't know. Not enchanting for uh, herbalism. Cause all I got is elf root here. I don't have any of the flask. What do you got? Flask. Give me, give me all the flask. All of them. Give them. Yeah. Bye. Okay. Crafting. Trap trigger. Rupture. Just distillation agent. Concentrator agent. How much is that? If I do all of them. Oh lord, I don't have that much gold. And give me... Nope. Cancel. Distillation agent? Let's do that one. Hold on, how many is that? Oh god, no. I don't want all that. Uh, nope. Back. Cancel. Oh, nope, cancel. What if I sold my graders? I just bought some, bro. So it'd be a waste of money. 
No, 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 no. My back. My back. Give me that. Yeah, no. I do not want to sell. Tome of physical technique. Many screw up of physical art scribed by a master and rarely seen outside of most prestigious militias and guilds. Careful study grants the reader access to additional rogue and weird talents. This tome gives the reader one point to spend on a talent or spell, but it is rendered useless out afterwards. Arcane technique. Oh, those are useful then. I should just stock up on those and use them all the time. Grey Warden Hand Puppet. Tiny Helmented Puppet is painted with blue and grey heraldry of the Grey Wardens. Okay. Take it. Stick. Yep. Fat loot. Take it. King Merrick's Shield. Alistair's Doll? What? Wait, is all this shit free? It is free. Hold on. Beard Flask. Pet Rock. I bet that Alistair's Quinari Prayers of the Dead. Amulet of Memories. Hold on. Where did all these come from? Rare and Teven Brandy. Complete genealogy to Kings of Ferelden. Hold on. Oh, chat. I'm going to have to Google up these gifts because now they're taking up more space. God damn it. Protective Cone. Ugly Boots. Orlesian Mask. Chance of Light. Unabridged. Okay. Scented Soap. <laughs> Scented Soap's going to Alistair. Butterfly Sword. Ooh. Cat Lady's Hobble Stick. Chastity Belt. Chastity Belt? Get the fuck out. The Chastity Belt is going to fucking Alistair. Uncrushable Pigeon. Okay, hold on. A lump of charcoal. Fifty. A thoughtful gift. There's 50 of those. Hold on. Sugar cake. Rotten onion. Manual ranger. Where giant spiders come from. Wilderness companion for beginners. A book written as an experienced ranger with useful tips. Manual templar. Backpack. Holy fuck. Yes. Give me a goddamn bag. That increased it by 10. Golden rope necklace. Hmm. Can reduce movement speed, journey, hail, rune, ice, master lightning rune, plus four electricity damage. Grand master lightning rune gives me plus five to electricity damage. Grand master frost rune, plus five cold damage. Hmm. Alright, let's see. Spell ward. Oh lord. 87 gold? Hmm. Alright, chat, hold tight. I have got to run to the little lady's room, so I will be right back.
All right, chat. I am back. Oh, uh, now what do we have here? So I was trying to get rid of inventory space, bought a bag, increased it by 10, but I bought a bunch of gifts. So let me finish what we got here. I'm also going to probably have to alt tab out because I can see what the fuck these gifts are for. If anybody's familiar with this game, I need y'all to know that the gift system, terrible idea. It's just a terrible mechanic used to make up for the lack of your choices actually mattering in this type of game. Stamina regeneration in combat. Okay, all right. Uh, maybe if I wasn't doing monetary game, Dwarven's merch increased monetary game. Here we go. Uh, long Bowman's belt, ranged critical chance. Does that work on magic casters? I think it does, but it would go on her for sure. Ember plus five percent fire damage, hailstone. Oh, both of these hands down would go to Morgan. Yes, yes, both of those. Morgan, spell ward. Jesus Christ. I mean, it's great, but. Uh, poor Volan Willstone. Plus two willpower. Eh. Village pinned. So let's go. What do we got for armor? Conspirator's foil. Ooh. Severin. Plus 20 mental resistance. No. Soldier's Helm. Alistair. Templar's Helm. Yes, Templar's is better. Proving Helm. Will power, one constitution. What is Deedles? Oh, let's see. Proving Helm. It gets me one willpower, one constitution, but it drops my armor by playing 50%. Don't know if that's worth it. And it's only a tier one, but it's okay. Blood Dragon played Helm. Is that some special DLC stuff? Yeah, it is. Eh. Spirit hands harden plus 10 spirit damage. That would be win. Yeah, that actually better for win. She does a lot of the spear stuff. Is that a leather? So, angle strikers. Mm -hmm. Severin. Nah. He's not even going to be in the party, so it doesn't matter. Boot. Bard's dancing shoes. Oh, don't have that money yet. Aerial weavers. Silver hammers. Tack masters. Chainmail, Viridium. Nope. Parts portable bulwark. Uh, oh, is that better than what Alice here currently is? He needs higher strength, but yes. Higher fatigue, yes, but everything else, defense, deflection, strength, dexterity, constitution. Yeah, that's way better for him. I currently don't have to go for it right now because I've used all my gold. Collective arming. Cowl. 
Enchanter's arming cap. Let's see. Morgan. Resistance. Willpower. Mental resistance. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Weapons. Is there a better two-handed weapon? Four axe, main hand. All right, let's see here. Hold on. Alistair. Okay, you. What do you got? Or long sword, main hand. Same amount of damage, penetration, strength modifier. That's got a rune slot as an oath keeper. That's got three slots. But it's 131 gold. The Vichile. I'm guessing it's French. Vichile. Vichile. Hmm. Yeah, that's much better across the board. But again, <gasps> I I don't I don't have 131 gold. Now let me see what do I have. This is all that stuff there. All right, I need to look up all these new things for gifts. Okay, so what was that? Paint this guy ball. Free game. Anybody. Okay. All right, I gotta look at inventory. Alistair's adult. Wait, no. Let's go. Sort alphabetic. No, newest. This is everything I just bought. Alistair's doll is definitely Alistair. Let me go ahead and give that to him. No, wait, no. Give it to Alistair. Wait, why is it? No. Hold on then. What the fuck? Oh, that's great. Uh, so the wiki I'm looking up doesn't even have that doll in here. That's a choice. So I don't even know. It's got his mother's amulet, but it doesn't have his doll. Hold on. Alistair's doll. Oh, it's part of the DLC. Restricted to Morgan. A feast day gifts and pranks DLC. Oh. Okay. That might be what I just bought for everybody. So in that case, I need to just go. Boom. Oh, she gets a doll. I am grateful. Tis thoughtful indeed. Yep, so that completes that. So amulet of memories. A generous gift. Thank you ever so much. Oh, yeah. This makes it better for everybody to become way better. Fat loot. I that's a wonderful thought. I don't know what to say. Hmm. Good. Uh, a protective cone. Oh Lord, no, come back off. Nope, it's no, 
Okay. Wait, how many felt loose did I get? Well, you only can play this loot. Okay. Uh... A stick. Wait, what did that do? Fucking nothing. What? Quinari prayer dead. I am impressed. My thanks. Okay. Rare and Teven brand. Chastity belt. What? That's me. Nope. Alistair. I don't know what the fuck that is. Okay. There, Morgan. Alistair's doll. Wait, hold on. Can amuse herself by inflicting indignities, Alistair. And can summon a memory. Cat Lady's hobble stick. Liliana. Got her to loot. Serious. Throw this stick for Sirius to retrieve. Okay. Sten. Is that what's restricted to him? The chastity belt is restricted to him. Uh no, I don't want that. What the fuck? No, go back. God damn it. I shall treasure it. Thank you. So that was pointless. Expect me to carry this for you. Oh god, they're prank swords. God damn it. No, I was using that to get up there. Fuck. God damn it. Now Stan hates me even more. The key to Severin's chastity belt. Is he the only one that gets the brownie? Oh. Uncrushable pigeon, cat lady's hobble stick, scented soap. Oh lord, I hate gifts. Scented soap, what the fuck? Where is that at? Did he on here? Nope. That is DLC shit. Okay. That with a great water hand puppet for Alistair it becomes a toy that he can play with.
Grave Warden's hand puppets for Alistair. Pet Rock. Oh, for Shale. Oh, okay. Whoever that is. Christian. He can read it and revive any fallen party members. Nice. Sugar cake. Thoughtful gift. Not specific anyway. Sugar cake and thoughtful gift. Okay. Ooh. All companion special pranks give a negative 50. Needless to say, it's advisable to save the game before giving any of these. That said, survival... Several of the items actually can be considered useful. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh... Wait, do I have a save point? God damn it. Load game? All the way back to the fucking Dalish camp? Meh. Cancel. Zoom game. I'll deal with my mistake. Who was it that got the most negative? Severin, but I fixed it with the, the counter. So Sten, Sten is at negative 50, which put him back to where he started that with me. So in that case, uh, where is this guy? I need him. Something you need? I'm sure either my boy or I can help you out. All right, where's? I'm sure. Lord, hold on. Sylvan's Mercy. Morgan. Nope. Win. Maybe? Higher damage. Range is higher. Spell power is up higher. Uh damage electricity damage so <laughs> in that case hold on I need gifts sugar cake thoughtful gift My inventory is full again. What the fuck? Nice. Did I get the thoughtful gift? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well. What the fuck are these items used for? Oh, they're for each of those individuals. God damn it.
Okay. Uh, what else can I equip to him then? To remove use key. Okay. Okay. Oh god, that was on him. Okay, good. Jesus Christ. All that for a fucking prank. God, it's so stupid. But they don't give you a warning that there's DLC in here that does stupid shit like that. This was when? Yes. All right, who else has useless shit they don't need? That sword is actually better than what I have. What's 12 attack? Low morale, rainbow power, tracks butterflies. Oh, I don't give a shit about any of that. Higher crit chance, better armor pin. Nice. And it's got a slot. Totally rocking it. Don't give a shit. Oh, it's not even showing it. Boom. It's even a longbow. Wait a sec. Elf right arrow. There we go. End. Severin. here 
Okay, those rings I can sell. No. Good. Of course. Are you sure I can't interest you in this hat? A pair of... I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my... Yeah, get rid of that. Let's take it up spots. Yeah, that's useless too. These just take up space. Weird flask. What? Pit rock. Which one of these were terrible? Okay, so the ones that are negative, I can just sell back. Lord, oh my god, I fucking hate this, but I'm going to use some of it to my advantage with the sugar cakes and the thoughtful gifts. So in the meantime, though, what did... comes a toy that he can play with. Plus 50. Okay, let me give him the fucking hand puppet then. Oh, that sword is so beautiful. I love it. Uh, inventory. Alistair. Give you the... Grey Warden hand puppet. I could get used to this, you know. Oh, you idiot. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see here. He gets a doll. Alistair gets the puppet. Why does he get two gifts? Let's gets like one. Alistair's special. He has to have two gifts. Okay. And yeah, let me sell the rest of these. Because they give negative 50. I don't need that right now. No. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along on the road. Oh, okay. I'm sure you'll be pleased. Yeah. No, sir, can sell it. Yada, yada, yada. Stick that loot. Which ones are bad? A crushable pigeon? That's bad. Sell. 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 Alright, the rest of these are fine. You know what? I got what I needed out of them. I don't need this special shit. Good. Free up all those slots. Enchantment? Yeah, here. I want some enchanting guns. Enchantment! Enchant this beautiful rainbow sword I just got. Nice. Novice, novice, journeyman, journeyman, novice. Journeyman flame room, plus two fire damage, paralysis, chance of paralysis. Yeah, plus two spell resistance. Hold on. Weapon rune, hail, plus five physical resistance. Plus two damage versus undead. Plus two fire damage. Plus two. 
plus two fire damage. And there we go. All right. talents any skills no boom yeah skills boom major constitution nice what does that give him what is his stats now character his constitution 22 nice Full power magic 39 nice magic 37 nice Mm. Okay. Fuck, Stan. God damn it. Alright, cool. Let me go. Inventory. Let me give Stan some special gifts. Special gifts! You have my thanks. Plus ten. What are they giving it? You have my thanks. Plus ten. 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 You have my thanks. Plus 10. This is so broken. I just want you to know. This DLC stuff that I added in breaks the game. This makes it you so much thanks. easier and makes their entire system pointless. Not that it wasn't before. It's it's even more pointless now. You have my thanks. Okay, so one more and he is maxed out. You have my thanks. Nice. Maxed out on Sten. The grumpiest motherfucker in the entire party. Alright, let's see. Golden rope knuckles. Who uses the fucking golden rope knuckles? G G G G G G G. Golden mirror, golden rope necklace goes to Morgan. Morgan, golden rope necklace. She's almost there, anyways. A fine gift. Plus six. You have my thanks. All right, cool. All right, what dicks do I? Dicks. What gifts do I have left? Chat. Okay. All right. What do we have left? Painted sky ball. That goes to anybody. Give it to you. Plus one. Nice. That goes to somebody I don't have yet. Okay, I'll worry about that later. Shock bomb. That's for poison making. Right there. 42. Crafting. Can I access that? I can't. I cannot access that. Fuck. Oh. Minor strength, moderate strength, major strength. Gotcha. Sweet. Okay, cool. I am done. Wait, hold on. Does he have anything to say? Need to say? You are not quite as callow as I thought. That is unexpected. Hmm. Hello. You thought I was callow? You sound surprised. You must have heard this before. You'll get over it. Eventually. Hmm. Oh, thank you for being such a wonderful dick. Why did I let you out of the cage again? I wanted to discuss something you mentioned. Speak then. Oh, that's enough. Then I suggest we move on. Oh Lord. I have questions. I am hardly surprised. Do you find Ferelden very strange? To put it lightly, no one has a place here. Your farmers wish to be merchants. The merchants dream of being nobles, and the nobles become warriors. No one is content to be who they are. Did Quinari ever want to change their lot in life? What does that accomplish? The farmer who buys a shop is never a merchant. He is always a farmer turned merchant. He carries his old life with him as a turtle carries its shell. Maybe he was meant to be a merchant. 
Or he might be happier. Happiness is fragile. Nothing can be built upon it that will last. Only duty endures. Oh, really? Okay. You don't think happiness is important? You can learn to find it in doing your duty, in serving your people. There is no need to search for it. Shall we move on? Oh, Lord. He... He subscribes to one of my favorite philosophers. Um... Camus. Albert Camus. Very Camus of him. Uh, Sisyphus, the one who was punished by Hades to push a boulder up a hill for all eternity. Even if you reached the top of the hill, it would roll back down. Albert Camus stated that he should, you, we should find content in pushing the boulder up the hill and be happy about it. Is there anything you like about Ferelden's then? There is interesting food here. You have a thing. It doesn't have a word in the Kunari tongue. Little baked things like bread, but sweet and crumbly. Cookies? Yes. We have no such things in our lands. This should be remedied. I think it's meant for you to be a beggar, Stan. Now keep that in mind. Shall we move on? Uh, you sound a bit homesick. Perhaps. It's strange to be in a crowd and hear a language that is not your own. To see faces that are and aren't like yours. I miss the smells of Saharon. Tea and incense and the sea. Ferelden smells of wet dogs. Dogs don't smell that bad. Skunks don't mind the smell of other skunks either. Shall we move on? Uh, let's go. As you wish. Sten disapproves negative three. Morgan approves plus one. God damn it. I just earned those plus three. Now I'm going to squander it all. Let's see, I got everybody maxed out now. What about I was just here? thinking about what happened to the elves, and I I'm reminded of a song sung to me many years ago. It was when my mother died. And this wise elven woman comforted me and told me that we shouldn't fear death or hate it. Death is just another beginning. One day, we must all shed our earthly bodies to allow our spirits to fly free. No, oh, I disagree, but okay. Uh, that is comforting. It's a beautiful sentiment, I think. One that brings peace and hope to the grieving. Prepare to be in serenaded, Jack. Serenaded.
Nice. Very nice. Something I can help with? Yes? What's on your mind? You were traveling minstrel? What tells you have to share? Of course I do. I love stories far too much to keep them to myself. Everyone should be able to benefit from them, I think. Know of any stories of Ole? Of course, Olesians enjoy telling stories. I shall tell you my favorite tale of Aveline, the Knight of Ole. Go ahead. A long time ago, a girl child was born to a farmer. He had hoped for a son, not a daughter, and so he told his wife to abandon the child in the woods. Before the cold could claim her, the baby was found by a tribe of Dalish elves who took pity on the poor mewling thing and raised her as their own. Aveline, for that is what they called her, grew strong and quick and clever under the guidance of the elves. She learned to wield the sword as well as any man, could kill a deer with an arrow at hundred paces, and was as graceful on the back of a horse as she was on foot. Continue. Aveline's Dalish guardians saw that she could easily best any Olesian chevalier in battle, and wanted to show the cruel humans the child they had left to die. They bestowed upon her a fine horse and armor, and sent her to prove herself to her people in the Grand Tourney. Now in those days, no woman was allowed to take up arms, let alone compete in the Grand Tourney. But Aveline kept her helmet on and was not discovered. Did she win a tourney? Aveline won many events and gained the approval of the adoring crowd. Eventually, she came face to face with the knight Kaleva in the Grand Melee. Aveline had already bested him in the joust, and Kaleva was determined not to lose a second time. Out of desperation to regain his honor, Kaleva tripped Aveline and tossed her to the ground, ripping off her helmet as he did so. Silence fell upon the arena as Aveline was revealed. Kaleva declared the previous competitions invalid. A woman had taken part, and this was not allowed. But the crowd cheered for Aveline. Kaleva was furious, for he had lost to a woman and was now being shamed. Blinded by his rage, he forced Aveline to her knees. Know your place, woman, cried he, and slit her throat. That's fucking terrible. What the hell? I was hoping for a happy end. That's terrible. Holy shit. The son of the king, Prince Freyan, was present. He recognized Aveline's skill and bravery and began to see the injustice done to the women in his land. When he was made king, he rewrote the laws of Ole so that women could also become chevalier. He honored Aveline and knighted her after her death. And mm. to this day, any female who is knighted reveres Aveline the Brave, for she is the patron of all women chevalier. <laughs> Sad that it took her death, but damn. Uh, tell me about the Darkspawn. Chantry Law says it is man's pride that created the Darkspawn. In ages past, the mages of the Tevinder Imperium ruled much of the world we know. In their pride, they thought their magics invincible and imagined that they were greater than the Maker himself. So thinking, they invaded his golden city, planning to take it for themselves and depose their own creator. But they were impure and full of sin. And it is with the sin that they tainted the golden city, corrupting it forever. The Maker cursed them and cast them from his sight. Wherever they went, they spread the taint of their sin. Any land that was touched by the taint became blighted and would suffer no life. Instead, the darkspawn arose to torment us and remind us of our hubris. Do you know of any Pharrell that legends? I know one. Told to me by my mother a long time ago. It always chilled me to the bone. Maybe you have heard of Flemeth? I met Flemeth in a Kogori world. Ah, uh, are you sure? Was she the Flemeth of legend? Flemeth, the devour of men. Flemeth, mother of witches. Flemeth, 
demon-touched who dwells in the mists. <laughs> She didn't really introduce herself as such. Ferelden mothers scare their daughters with talk of Flemeth. They say that if you're bad, Flemeth will spirit you away and bind you to her forever. They also say that Flemeth mourns her lost beauty and will steal yours through your looking glass if she catches you. Tell me the whole story. Flemeth's beauty was known throughout the land. She had hair like unto a moonless night skin as pale as winter's first snow, and eyes as beautiful and perilous as the sea. When she came of age, she came to the attention of the Lord of Hyever, Conobar, and he took her for his wife. Conobar soon learned that his young bride had the gift of magic. He kept this a secret, for he feared that she would be taken from him. Flemeth stayed with Conobar for some years, and with his blessing, she practiced her art, and then one day, a young poet named Osen came to the castle. Flemeth was captivated by Osen's voice, and he by her beauty, and they fell in love. Oh! Oh, the plot thickens! Flemeth longed to be with her <laughs> true love, and she and Osen fled from Conobar's lands, seeking refuge in the Kokari wilds with the Chasin tribes. They lived there happily for many a year, till the day Flemeth received news that Conobar was dying and longed to see her face one last time. Flemeth's heart swelled with pity for the man who once was her husband and begged Osen to return to Conobar's side with her. But when Flemeth and Osen entered Hyeva, they were captured by Conobar's men and Osen was slain in front of Flemeth's eyes. Flemeth was imprisoned in the highest tower of the castle there to await Conobar's judgment on her. Distraught at the loss of her love, Flemeth plotted revenge against her husband. She summoned a fey demon, intending for it to wreak vengeance on Conobar. But a spell went awry. The demon possessed Flemeth. Turning her into an abomination, the halls of the castle run red with blood as Flemeth slaughtered Conobar and all his men. The last of Flemeth's humanity melted away, and at dawn, she stole back to the wilds to plot and scheme for a hundred years. They say she took to her side many chasing men, and with their help, begat her daughter witches, who even now prowl the dark places of the Kokari wilds. Seen that together, well, what we know from Morgan finding Flemish Grimoire, or not a true Grimoire, but the Black Grimoire, uh, it's all starts to come together. There's another story I wanted to hear. Which one? Mm. You know anything about the Dalish? I have heard a little about how the elves gained their freedom from the Tevinter Imperium. When Andraste began her exalted march against the Imperium, the elves joined her cause to fight their masters. The great elven leader, Shatan, born in captivity, rose up to lead his people. He foresaw a future where the elves were free. Shatan was killed when Andraste was betrayed, but the elves continued to fight, eventually breaking free of the Imperium. The elves claimed the dales in the south and settled there in the land of their own. It didn't last. The elves lived in the dales for centuries. They resurrected the worship of the elven gods and would allow the building of no chantry. This angered the Chantry, and the hostility between the two factions finally broke out in open war. The Chantry says the Elves struck first, but I do not know whether to believe it. The Chantry declared a wholly exalted march against the Elves, named for Andraste's similar march against the Winter. During the exalted march of the Dales, the Elven cities were sacked, and the Elven state completely dissolved. Some of the Elves bitterly accepted their fates, and surrendered to human rule, living in the human cities as second-class citizens. But others, still fiercely proud of their heritage, refused to bow to the humans, and instead became homeless wanderers. There were the elves of the Dales, the Dalish. What do you know about Andraste? 
and drastic was the Maker's chosen. The Maker had long since abandoned the world when the sound of her singing turned his ear. Beauty, grace and wisdom enraptured him and he offered to take her from this flawed world to become his divine bride. But Andraste had an earthly husband and would not forsake him. Instead, she beseeched the Maker to return to his people once more. So earnest was her plea that the Maker was moved and promised that he would create a paradise on earth if all abandoned their false gods and turned once more to him. And this is why Andraste began her exalted march on the idolaters of the Tevinter Imperium. The Maker granted her his powers with which to smite her enemies. Andraste brought the Imperium to its knees, and her victories converted many to the worship of the Maker. How did Andraste die? Alas, it was the frailties of men that betrayed and killed Andraste. Her earthly husband, Maferath, a chieftain of the Alamari tribes himself, grew jealous as his wife's popularity and influence overshadowed his own. She was also revered as the Maker's betrothed, and Maferath began to see their own bond waning in significance as Andraste became ever more devoted to the Maker. Out of envy and spite, Maferath made a pact with the Archon Hesarian of Tevinta, allowing his beloved Andraste to be ambushed and captured. Andraste was burned at the stake in Minrathos, the capital of Tevinta. Sounds like the Joan of Arc. History lesson. Joan of Arc was burned at the stake as well. You want to know what for? For wearing men's clothing. For wearing a men's armor. She was burned at the stake for being a crossdresser. That's how Joan of Arc died. <laughs> Her ugly husband. Ah, he probably was ugly. He should have been grateful. But Savinter has a chantry, doesn't it? Uh, why did it make her not save her with his power? Yeah, why did it make her not save her with his power? I had thought on this too. Did he withdraw his sight from her at that moment? Where were all the powers he bestowed upon her? This question has come to me many times, and I have no answer. Perhaps there was no way for Andraste to return to the Maker but through her death. We will never know for sure. Because the Maker works in mysterious ways. All right, let's just move on. Boom! I love hearing stories, lore, so good. I am digging this great tour. Man, rainbow, sparkly, butterflies. This is amazing. I freaking love this. Uh, do I need? Oh yeah, I've got sword now. I need to enchant. He's got. It's got like three slots on it, or is it one? Hold on. Was it one slot or three? One. And I put it fired at me. I thought it was three slots. Never mind. Alright, she's Max now. What can I tell her? I await your command. Never mind. Uh... Wait, who is not maxed? Bowser's not maxed. Morgan's not maxed. When? Close max. Liliana's not maxed. So, oh, it might be maxed. Hold on. What's on your mind? Uh, are you feeling better now? Oh, yes, and thank you for asking. I'm feeling much better today. I suppose you were just tired then, like he said. I suppose I must be. Oh, well, God damn it, that's no conversation. Um. Uh, nothing. Shouldn't have disturbed no you. Trouble. Here I am.
I want to discuss something personal. I'm game. I'm game. Never mind. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along. All right, cool. Gotta buy some more cakes. I need more cake. I need more cake. This about sugar cake. Thoughtful gift. Sugar cake does five. Thoughtful gift does ten. He's only got forty left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten a piece by sugar cake. Buy ten of these as well. Bye. All right, cool. Severin. Skin. Here, Max. Severin. How nice. 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 Oh, it's Max now. Is it Max? Can I tell? Nope. Approval 100%. Warm. Seventy-nine percent. Oh, thank you. That's very nice. Oh, thank you. That's very nice. Ninety-nine percent approval. I'll take it. Morgan. 89% approval. Let's, what is a sugar cake? Interesting. Plus five. Interesting. Oh, 99% approval. 100%. 88. Why, thank you so much. Why, thank you so much. 98. Stin. Oh, I got negative three on him. He's such a party pooper. Oof. Oh, that's what happens when you max everybody out. Nice. Does it affect my stats? No, it affects individual stats because of my leadership. That's right. Okay. All right. In that case, I am done talking with everybody. Where to go to next? Hold on. No. I need to look at journal. Quests. Companions. Flemis Grimoire. Flame Forest. Allura's Hollow. Uh, Cayman's Lament. Wait, I can't finish those quests. Like, straight up will not talk to me. Interim. Friends of Red Jenny. Uh, you have acquired a small painted box as requested by the Friends of Red Jenny. The reward, whether it is, whatever it is, is waiting off in a market district in Dinnerum. Uh, it sounds like a side quest, but let's see. The Blight. Aragon of her kind gained the Orzammar's aid in battling the Blight. You need to travel deep underground to the fabled dwarven city of Orzammar. Okay, so Orzammar for main story. Or go to dinner room. I think I might need to go to dinner room. What have you heard? Something you need? Rumors. I'm sure either my boy or I can help you out. There's been another clash of horses. This time north of Lothering. Both the Benorn and Loghain are saying that they won this clash. So we're not sure exactly what happened yet. From the sounds <laughs> of it. I think the forces accidentally crossed each other and began fighting. What a bloody mess. That's what I've heard on the road, anyhow. Take it for what it is. No. Right. But where... Uh, okay, never mind. I should go. Of course. Good fortune to you and yours. Goodbye. Yay. Okay. In that case, should I go to Ozmore or should I go to Dinnerum? 
dinner room? Yes. Okay, of course I got him. Al oh, Alistair? Yeah, I know, Blast it. You were chosen. What a cool game. Damnation. Yep, didn't win. Yes. Okay, cool. Boom. We are going to look at Soldier's Peak back. Finding Tunnel lies at Old Grey Warden Base at Soldier's Peak. I'm gonna have to get that at some point. Lutheran is gone. They went up to here. This is where they went so far. Get dinner room. And then. Conflict. Of course, of course. A random encounter. Dinner room. Sire, I have more news. Um, yes. Well, it seems that the fighting has gone Enough. exactly as you... I would like to know what you intend to accomplish, Father. Should we not be fighting the Darkspawn instead of each other? A nobility should be brought into line and then the Darkspawn defeated. This is no true blight, Anora. Only Kalen's vanity demanded it be so. Beg pardon, sir. But blight or no, we may not have the manpower to face the Darkspawn soon. Kalen approached your legions for support, did he Never. not? Never! Marek and I drove those bastards out! Not roll out the welcome for them now. We need help, Father. We cannot deal with this crisis alone. Ferelden will stand on its own. I will lead it through this, Anora. You must have faith in me. Did you kill Kalen? Kalen's death was his own doing. Yep, he killed Kalen. Uh, I think they use these random attacks just to be some oh god there's dark spawn up on this road okay boom boom Let's see here. Cone of cold. Sorry, Alistair. Hmm. What is up there? Hold on. Now they're just solely doing nothing. Gotcha. Wait, where the hell did he go? No, come the fuck back here. Do not go after those guys. Go over here, attack this asshole. There. Now go back to here. Beetle, where are you going? Attack him. Alistair, where the hell are you going? What? No, get back here and attack that asshole. He's clearly... What? Wind's dead? God damn it. Which is lovely. Okay, go over here.
Lord, Lord, Lord. The AI in this is kind of dumb. It just does whatever the fuck it wants. Alright, cool. What are y'all going after now? Good, that's fine. Alright, both of you need to take health potion. Be regular. Uh, regular. You. Let's attack. What do you got? You're following me. Good. Hate that. But we're still in combat. Motherfucker. It's amazing what you can accomplish when everybody focuses and stays together instead of splitting up and attacking all willy nilly. Jesus. Is there a timer on this? Like at some point, like if I don't do XYZ before XYZ, it starts a countdown timer. Similar to like Mass Effect 2. Alright. Okay, well, that's all that. How the fuck I get out of here? Oh, over there. Good. Okay. Noise. Nope. here I could have sworn I bought distillation agents requires expert herbalism hmm. hold on wind Fruit. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna craft a bunch of those. Craft the item. Those are the lesser ones, though. Do I have any more of those? She's got lesser. At this point, I don't need them anymore. I'll be moving up. Upgrading. Oh, now what? No, seriously, now what? What the fuck? companion side quest not really you're very observant all this excitement too much for your old bones are you all right for a moment there i thought i was i 
thought it was all over. Rainbow Butterfly Sword? Yeah, the one that's supposed to be like a negative prank gift or some DLC for uh, Sten. Actually, a great two hand sword until I find another upgrade. It's supposed to be gay and it like disrespects his like fucking. I don't know, his culture, his tribe, whatever like that. So. I did it by accident, not realizing what it was until I go Googled it. But it was too late. I already did a negative 50 and I didn't say it beforehand. So, but I got it back up. Uh, but now I use it because it's actually really useful as a two hand sword. The fight is over, if that's what you mean. No. I thought I was. I... I will explain everything when we are back at camp. Now is not the time. Of course. Of course. When we get back to camp. Go forth. Yes. Where was I? Yes, I was on my raided dinner room for the first time. So. Honestly? I don't mind a sword. I love it. It's so flashy. And there's butterflies too. Oh, it's amazing. I could you not like a two-handed sword with rainbows and butterflies sparkling from it. Oh god, there's dinner room. Ugh, is there Sarah? Wait, is this the same Sarah from Inquisition? I don't know. A great number of people died. It will be difficult to imagine rebuilding <laughs> that cloud hanging over everything for many years to come. Do you think you'll be there should... to help rebuild oh, Lord. once this is all over with? I cannot say. Even if I survive mm. this blight, mm -mm -mm. I am a very old woman, Alistair. Why? Because of some grey hair? You are a formidable woman, Wynne. You could see that it happens. I think you overestimate the number of years I have left. But perhaps you were right. Or perhaps the memories of what happened there will be too strong for me to face. I have a hard time believing that. Well, it's good to have someone that believes in me, so... Now, if I could only feel the same way myself, that would be something. Oh my god, Alistair? Does he have a mommy kink? Is... Is that why he's hitting on Wynn? <laughs> uh, unfortunately i have no mods on so i just okay. have the ultimate edition which has all the dlc so no mods sadly so Good no day. no nudity except for you know that that hold on let me move this camera around. can you see that hold on my alistair why are you in the way Ugh. Boom. Rainbow sword or the Age of Chances board. As there is but one world, one life, one death, there is. Oh shit. Uh, back out of justice. I'll read them later. Except now. Except. 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 Okay. I'm gonna do them all anyway so I can get the XP boost so I can gain levels. However, there is Sister Justine. It's strange that matters can be so tumultuous and yet the day still be so bright. Oh, my pardon. Just thinking aloud. Are you here for the Chanter's board? <laughs> uh, I've already done it. Who are you? I am Sister Justine, curator of the reliquary of this Chantry. <laughs> Pride again. It is hard to live up to the example of Andraste. Oh, she's just in your underwear in her, your game? Oh. Right on. This is my first playthrough. Well, technically I have played before, but I never... I think the far I ever got was halfway through the Mage Circle Tower. That was as far as I got previously. Uh, I've already done that. I've done it with the elves now. And now I'm in dinner room. So that's where I'm at so far in the journey. Uh, let's see here. Uh, 
and pride again part of the book's example of Andraste. so yeah everything after that let's see I'd imagine I might have to do with a mod that recolors the Chantry robes to match Inquisition colors. But it works fine for everyone else. Right, Inquisition is correct. That or like Templars, like Crusade level Templars. Perfect. So, what's a curator do? The archivist tends the books and I tend the sacred relics. I also search for more to add to our collection. Which is more difficult than it sounds. Oh, you talk about Inquisition a game. Never mind. I was thinking holy religious, like that side of it. Uh well the Chantry robes are red and white rather than peach and pink. Yeah. I think that's because they were trying to line up with the actual like historical Inquisition. Yeah, the Spanish Inquisition. I think that's why they went with red and white. Kind of a mix of the Spanish Inquisition along with the Crusade, like the Templars, because their colors were actually red and white. So I think it's kind of a mix of that there, though. Uh, hold on, I gotta read this again. I'll search for more to add to our collection, which is more difficult than it sounds. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, what's hard about that? A hawker on the street will claim to have an actual finger bone of Andraste. In this city alone, you could make the skeleton of ten prophets from fingers alone. Curators often accept them as genuine. I worry about the authenticity of even our most holy artifacts. How difficult is it to verify relic? Uh, I don't know. Asked the German army during World War II. They claimed everything was an artifact. <laughs> they claimed to have had... What did they have? They had the Ark of the Covenant they had at one point. They also had the Spear of Destiny. The, the spear that pierced Jesus' side. Like, the Nazis were all over the place. It had everything. Hitler was real big into the occult, I believe, as well. How difficult is it to verify a relic? When I was a curator of a much smaller chantry in Orlay, I thought that false relics slipped through because of laziness. But the life of the cloth is never an easy one, and that explanation always seemed hollow to me. Now I believe it's the seduction of the divine. We all want a personal connection to the maker. We want to believe that what we hold in our hands is the actual sandal that slipped from Andraste's foot before the fires consumed her. Faith is of the heart, not of the head. When the heart is ungoverned by reason, charlatans have powerful tools to deceive. Yeah, that sounds accurate. Uh, I met a street preacher once that swore up and down. He uh, he touched the same ground that Moses's, Moses had touched uh, after he descended from Mount uh, Sinai, was it? That had the, the, the tablets, of the Ten Commandments, the stones. Yeah, he swore it down he was at that site. When I had to explain to him it was a hoax. Because nobody carved in her footprints. And the golden calf that he saw. That was smelted down according to the scripture. So yeah, he never actually went to that site. So what's it seem? I like to talk about uh, balancing faith and reason is difficult, though. And often close to heretical. But I believe that the truth only increases the awe of the maker and his prophet, not demean it. Mm. Even false symbols have the power to inspire. Mm -hmm. But it seems every year we fall more out of touch with the real Andraste. That's because placebos work, sadly. How many real relics have you found? Well, there's one that might be real. I couldn't prove it wasn't. Perhaps you can understand my skepticism. So many claims, so few truths. Do you think the urn of sacred ashes is real? Certainly. My research indicates that all of the ashes were gathered into a pot or urn, but it's been lost for centuries. That doesn't stop hawkers from selling pinches of the ashes of Andraste to gullible pilgrims. The real ashes may still be hidden somewhere, 
So it's possible the urn broke. Yeah, given its age. Uh, I want to go now. Of course, Farewell. enjoy your visit to the Chantry. Oof, oof. Hold on. Magic exists to serve man and never to rule over. Foul and corrupt are they who have taken his gift and turned it against his children. They shall be named Maleficar, accursed ones. They shall find no rest in this world or beyond. I was getting to that part. All right, now we made it to dinner room. All right, cool. That said, uh, thank you all for joining me today. I know it seems kind of early to some, kind of late to others. For me, it's getting kind of late. I need to go to bed here soon, and I got to walk my dog. Thank you for joining me this lovely evening. Uh, until next time, uh, go ahead and follow so you know when next time will be. And this will be over on YouTube as well later on in case you missed it. So you can like, subscribe over there, hit the bell notification, and make sure you turn on notifications over here as well on Twitch. All right, thank you for your time, and y'all have a lovely, lovely, lovely night. Good night, farewell, sleep tight.